I think I'm traumatized of missing this flight. I'm all over the place. There's a little emergency. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to this vlog. I'm in Düsseldorf right now, just ready to go back to Dubai. When I'm back to Dubai, I will go to Abu Dhabi as fast as I can. I'm gonna run like a deer because I want to catch a flight home with Air Berlin because it's like directly to where I'm from. So yeah, let's see how this is gonna turn out because I landed like midnight at Dubai and my flight is at 9 a.m. from Abu Dhabi International Airport to this little cute airport in Berlin called Tegel. Wish me luck. I just packed my stuff <sighs> and I always feel I forget something, you know? And it already happened a lot of times. Some of my um, gym tops are in Manila. One of my chargers is um, in Johannesburg. And yeah, some stuff is in Cape Town as well. I'm all over the place. All right, guys, this is me freshly showered with a new makeup. Just kidding. I just changed my lipstick. I think I'm traumatized of missing this flight, you know, because I really like need to go home. And uh, yeah, I think I think I forgot stuff. I think I forgot stuff. Socks. This is like a thing you always forget, you know, socks. One time I forgot my um, eyebrow pencil on the layover. That was awful. On that layover, also I had a date, so I was just um, trying to like ring other crew, and so I called the reception, and they were like, "Well, um, we can we I, we don't know the names, but I can just like give you room numbers. You can call. Cool. She gave me two. I called the first one, Mohammed. I'm sure he doesn't have like an eyebrow pencil. Second one didn't answer, and then I saw this lady. Uh, getting out of the room, I was like, oh my god, are you crew? She's like, crew? I was like, never mind. Um, okay, listen, I forgot my eyebrow pencil and I really um, need my eyebrows today because I have a date. So she was like, well, I don't really draw my eyebrows, but I have like this eyeliner that I can give you. I was like, yeah, cool, you know? And um, my eyebrows looked like I stick them on. It was ugly. I mean, I looked insane. Like, all you could see was my eyebrows, but anyway, it didn't work out with this guy. I don't know if it was because of my eyebrows or because it just didn't click, I don't know. Before I leave, I need to... Why is this not focusing? Deliver. Ah! I just need to deliver this to my flatmate because um, I just came back from the stove and the duty-free in the stove is the best. Yes, there is like a special duty-free shop in the airport just for crew and it's like a duty-free with 30% off. Are you kidding me? Wow, I mean we go crazy in there, remember? One time I was um, at the cruise shop with a lot of stuff, not only for me, also for my family and my friends. Anyway, just yeah, this iron, I, I burn it because you know what I did? We're not supposed to like wash our uniform, however, I did it and I was trying to iron my scarf, you know, the scarf that we have attached to our hat and I just burned it. Anyway, so I was at this duty-free thing in Düsseldorf with a lot of stuff and behind me was a crew, like Emirates crew. This girl was like beeping on my stuff, like beep, 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 beep. In the end, it was like 570 years. Something like that, 580, anyway, this girl was like, wow, that's a lot, girl. I was like, nah, it's fine, you know, just for like gifts and stuff. Okay, then I was packing it, you know, like trying to fit everything in my little bag. And <laughs> she like, she was at the cashier and the cashier was like beeping her things. <laughs> it was like 700, you know. <laughs> so I was like 700 and she was kind of shocked. She was like, ooh, you know. That's a bit much, but yeah, I mean, just treat yourself. Okay guys, let's go now. Guys, I'm excited, but I really like, I really have a bad feeling right now. I don't know why, okay. Okay, I'm turning you off, guys. Where's this button? I'm still not like a pro in this because I'm used to like doing like stories on my phone, but this is like kind of different. This is my ring light, by the way. All right, you guys, I took a cab to the bus station and um, there's no buses going to Abu Dhabi at this time so I'm sharing this cab with um, three other ladies and the guy is like still waiting for two more people to come 
So, yeah. I don't know. When I'm at the station in um, Abu Dhabi, I'll take a cab to the airport. Yeah, it's like, what time is it now? It's 3.40 a.m. So yeah, 3.40 a.m. guys. And um, I'm still like thinking I'm not gonna make it, but hopefully I will. So um, the cab driver left me at the remote sand and I had no clue where I was. And I was walking around, almost crying. And then I saw something very familiar. I saw stripes. So yeah, this is Julian. He's F1, A380 and Etihad. And now we're sharing a taxi to um, his crew departure and my departure. So he basically saved my life. Yeah, I'm very thankful. So now I am very early still, but I'm not lost anymore, which is good. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Do you want to say something? Yes, good morning, hello. <laughs> and he's German. What a coincidence. All right, guys, I'm here at the Etihad headquarters, the, like check-in thingy. Um, yeah, and I'm guarding the FO's stuff while he's getting us coffee because I'm pretty early for my flight. And yeah, I'm not allowed to film here, but it's like very pretty, their check-in stuff. Yeah, I asked the guy, can I film here? And he's like, no, it's a bit, you know, strict and stuff. But yeah, it looks nice. Alright guys, I'm in the cab now to the airport. Um, I don't really know which terminal it is. So um, the cab driver is gonna drop me to terminal one. Fingers crossed it's the right terminal. So glad that I met um, the FO, Julian, because he really saved my life. Oh my god. Okay, so talk to you guys later. There's a little emergency. I've tried to check in. I was at the right terminal by the way and I tried to check in and this lady's like, the flight is overbooked. I'm like overbooked but when I tried to book it there was like a little smiley you know next to the flight like a green smiley. She's like no but the flight is overbooked. Yeah it's um 6 11 a.m. And, um, and I have to wait till 8 p.m. 8 a.m. sorry. I'm gonna have breakfast now and just cross my fingers I guess. I don't understand when I booked the ticket there was a smiley next to the flight. I don't know. Maybe they were just tricking me, I don't know. Alright guys, I just had breakfast and um, it's, um, let me check the time, 7.30 and in 15 minutes I'll go to the check-in and check if um, I can go on the flight. If not, um, this lady was like, don't you want to fly to Düsseldorf? I just came from Düsseldorf and you know, I don't really live there so I don't know. Okay guys, I'm going back to the check-in and I hope that they will have the space for me, please. And yeah, if not, I don't really know what to do. If there is no space, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Düsseldorf and um, then take another flight from there. So fingers crossed. Okay, the lady at the check-in told me I have to wait for um, 30 more minutes, but check out this watch. It's totally confusing. Look, it's crazy. Oh my god, I'm so scared I'm gonna fall asleep right now. Guys, I didn't make it on the flight. It's too full. Just kidding! I got my boarding pass and my, um, this thing, my passport. And I'm just so tired, but I'm so happy that I'm on the way to the gate. Thank you. Thanks. We made it, guys. I'm going to the aircraft. I'm so happy right now.
my bags and hopefully I'm gonna meet my sister now. I hope she's there waiting for me. <laughs> sister! All right guys, so now we're picking up my niece and uh, my sister from the kindergarten. My niece is her daughter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, it's a big surprise and I can't wait and I didn't sleep for like 40 hours now. But I'm so surprised, my makeup is like still kind of on my face, so thank you to all the makeup products I put on my face. And yeah, I don't really know what to say right now, because I'm just super tired and, and yeah, I'm so happy also. <laughs> okay guys, so my sister is gonna get them and they're gonna enter here and then they're gonna see me and hopefully they will be happy. Oh my god, I can hear them. Oh gosh! Oh, so cute! Hast du mich lieb? Ja, meine Just got home. And look, my baby brother! Who's 16? And who has a new girlfriend? Hello guys, it's already the next day. I'm sorry. I actually fell asleep um, on the floor while playing with my niece and my sister. I'm gonna meet my friend now, Margot. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn you off now because I'm quite annoyed by this thing not focusing and also because it's quite heavy. So yeah, see you guys later. I can show you the metro if you want. The Berliner metro, it's yellow. All right, guys, I just got out of the metro. I couldn't really film in there because there was this guy next to me he, he was talking to me the whole time and I didn't want to be rude but I kind of lied he was like in English like so where are you from you know but he was nice but then he was like so what are you do <laughs> you see Berlin is a bit crazy like that people are like coming next to you all the time but anyway he was like how many days are you staying in Berlin I was like oh just a few days he's like all right so why don't we meet for coffee you know I was like, well, you know, actually I'm engaged. I'm not, but I just said I was. So now we're gonna meet Margot. And I'm gonna show you guys the TV tower because it's quite famous. It's like a Burj Khalifa or like an Eiffel Tower. TV tower is all the same. So I'll show you. So that's the tower, guys. It has this round thing and this long stick on top. And that's a tram. It's just basically like a metro on the street. It's quite dangerous if you don't really look around because you can get run over by one. So that's TK Maxx. Let's enter it. Guess what I found in TK Maxx, guys? My friend Margot and her fur coat. It's real fur, by the way, which I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> and I found this eye cream, it's serum with gold, and I think I'm gonna get it. Margot is a bit shy today. Trust me, she's usually not shy, but today she kind of is. So I just got some salad. That's a strawberry salad. It doesn't really have lots of strawberries in it though. And now Margot is getting us pasta and we're gonna share it. Usually we share pizza and salad, but today we just wanted to have something else. And TK Maxx, I got these two items here. And this is the TV tower, guys. The top is just there. This product here is the moisturizing serum and apparently it has like snail, the snail thing that comes out of the snail when she's like walking. It has like this thing in it. I heard good things about it. So let's see, I'm gonna try it out and show it to you guys. And this one here is the um, night serum. So yeah, I'm gonna try that out once I'm back in Dubai. Let's see how it's gonna work. The snail stuff, I don't really know, but yeah, let's see. Mission impossible of trying to share those two dishes on one. Mission complete, guys. Margot! To all the men out there. Margot, pourquoi tu m'aimes? 
Je t'aime parce que quand je sors en couple, c'était pauvre. <rire> je prenais des chasses dans la rue. Um, before, like, before I got the job in Emirates, I was like poor. When I say poor, is I was like getting my furniture out of the street. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I got my furniture out of the street and I was like super poor. And that's how he met. Now I'm rich, bitch. Just kidding. Not sure if it's a good idea, but we're just gonna check out the desserts just to be sure. Yeah, it looks quite, um, looks quite sexy actually. Hi. Hi. If there's any like single men with like easy life, so no problem out there, just give us a call. Please, no married men as well, because we kind of have bad experience with that as well. No depressions, not crazy. Please, just give it a comment below. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Are you single, not complicated, and not married? <laughs> no. no. I'm single, I'm not complicated. You married? I'm not married. Do you have depression or anything? No. no, no. <laughs> Drug addict or something. Oh. <laughs> not bad. Do you live in Dubai by any chance? Look at our sexy dessert. Guys, do you see those um those things you can like jump on? On va le faire ou pas? Allez, soit t'es fait une figure comme au cirque. Stop! Je te montre comment ça marche avec tes figures. I feel bad ending this vlog like kind of tipsy. Yeah, unfortunately, I have these um, jeans in my blood that I um, get drunk pretty easily. That's sad. Thank you so much for watching this. You can follow me on Instagram. MJ thingy EK. You can also um, subscribe on here. If you like wine, press like on this video. If you don't like wine, comment on this video. If you don't like me and you don't like wine, then I don't know. I wish you safe flights all the time. I wish you good wines and I wish you a lot of love and a lot of happy time. See you soon.